Hi friends, followers, viewers. Um, not much has happened since yesterday. I, I sent in the application for the big, the really big company. There's one more of those really big ones, actually two, um, that I sent in. Really big companies. But one I sent in April 4th. And I haven't heard anything, so I wouldn't imagine I've gone ahead there. And the other one, was it last week? No, earlier this week, I think. Anyway, so who knows? But uh, there's a positive response. Usually they get back to you within 10 days. So we'll see. Um, so this is Get Ready With Me 14, and uh, not much movie news, but I'm going to stick to movies, showbiz, and all these things. What I've been thinking that I'm going to do while I'm uh, applying for other movie jobs and jobs in the entertainment industry, is that I'm going to film a short film on my own with the camera give a sample of this idea for the movie I thought of 2016, 2017, which is not unique because it's the original idea, if I'm not misremembering, is Robinson Crusoe, that novel, with the man stranded on that deserted island, and then meeting the guy he, he named Friday, because he came on a Friday, he met him on a Friday. Um, you got to read that novel, it's really great. Um, so, it's about the human being against the nature's element, elements, water, rain, fire, earth, wind, and all variations of that, that come from the deserted island. Uh, Earth, wind, and fire. Earth, wind, yeah. I'm forgetting the fourth time. Anyway, so this is Get Ready With Me 14. So I'm going to film parts, actually the beginning of that movie, and a little bit after. And the beginning is we see a guy. I hate you, of course, because I'm going to play the role. Uh, you're not going to see the the computer screen, you're just going to see that he's on the computer. And he's, you know, maybe on social media, watching funny cat clips or people seeing, singing in talent shows. You can have the uh, earphones, so you don't have to have other people singing. Uh, so you see that he's listening, you comment that. And then he this guy is not going to be like me, he's not going to be crazy interested in world news. He's, he's no of it, he's following it as an ordinary adult, having an average interest in the world, but not too much, but he has his own life. Uh, but this guy lives alone, and he has no family. Parents are dead, long, long dead, no wife, no children, no girlfriend. So we've had some great things, just like, just like me, but unlike me, he's not that into news, not that interested in news. I mean, he's interested in an average way. Oh, it's turbulent in the world. Oh my God, but what can I do? And then he goes on with his life, his work, his hobbies. So when you'll see him, and you'll see him... Follow in real time when the nuclear war breaks out on the screen until, of course, the internet stops and then the electricity stops. But he lives in this house far up north in Sweden, so he has stockpiled, you know, he has stored a lot of goods. He's not a prepper, he's not been doing this for years and years, but if you live up north, it's common to have food for at least two, three months. So we have the dry stock. Dry foods, 
have canned food. Yeah, this guy is going to have his own water source not from the city and it's about to where it is, but from a well drilled on his own land. That's a small one for now. Not when everything goes dark, but of course he, he can make a fire in his stove and because he has a wooden stove also. And heated the heating panels can also be run by it. By wood you collect and then put in the house. At the warm supper. And of course, he probably has some electrical generator so he can still get some electricity, but there won't be any contact with the other world. At least not official or the electricity. Then maybe perhaps in the movie he meets other people. Wild animals. Things will happen. He will hear rumors from those people about what has happened. Just by it in, in the world. So it's going to be a um, pretty tough movie to watch. Uh, again, I didn't get this from Russia War, although it was going back in 2016. I got it from Robinson Crusoe uh, and I got it from Tom Hanks movie, which is a modern version of Robinson Crusoe. Tom Hanks crashes with a transport plane near an island that was filmed near the real island, which is just neighboring city. And very close to city, we know that. So, that's what's going to happen. And I'm going to do this over a series of days. And I'm going to cut together a short, short version or opening that movie. I'm going to be... I am in the area of Stockholm, so it's going to be in an apartment, but probably. But we'll, we'll see what happens. I will shoot it on my own, and then I will put something together, and then I will put it on YouTube, probably. And maybe TikTok, so it can't be more than 10 minutes. Just to give you, my, my viewers, a sample, and also maybe other people who can uh, maybe finance it or whatever. I probably won't be needing that much finance, so maybe I can do it on my own. It's just me and a camera, so I don't need much more. If it's a dog mama, it's not going to be with makeup. It's not going to have makeup on. It's going to be real. Very real. I think that, and of course you got um, Survivor TV series, you got Survivor reality show, but you also got um, the Lost TV series, which is an incredible inspiration also for this. But for me, it's Robinson Crusoe, a novel that's got my whole process started to get around this. I said a word in Swedish, killing means around. Got a little bit of swingish. Well, so, I think it could be a scary movie, interesting movie, and a fun movie, in a scary way to watch. We'll see what happens. So, I'm still come applying to movie jobs, and I'm making my TikTok movies. You seem to like the first one today a lot. 800 views now, just it's me lip syncing to Medina, a Swedish artist. Uh, pretty funny, but I did some variations of that, so there are much more out there. You put up 10 moons or something like that, short clips today. So, see you soon. Bye.